Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can analyze moderation effect in SPSS without using Hayes process macro. It's a very easy procedure if you want to assess the moderation. First of all, you would need your latent variable scores, which I have over here. I have my latent variable scores over here. I have put the link of how to calculate the latent variable scores in the description. You can follow the instructions in that to get these latent variable scores. Now, there's another thing that I need to uh, highlight over here that I have to select a variable that I would be treating as moderator. In this uh, case, I'll be using gender as the moderator. And uh, for me, the independent variables, I have three independent variables over here. I have uh, review quality, that is RQ, website reputation, that's also my independent variable. And um, attitude towards evil, that's also my independent variable. And my dependent variable would be uh, evil credibility. So I'll be using these four variables in my calculation. So first step, I would need to create interactive terms. So to do that, I'll go to transform. Uh, I'll click on compute and I'll put here RQ steric gender. This is my gender. This is the interactive term that I'm going to create here. And it would be simply what I'm writing here, the name as it would be uh, gender. Uh, steric, that's multiply, and I'll go to my latent variable that is review quality and equals to OK. OK, I have included the steric over here, so I would make it underscore. Sorry for that. So RQ underscore gender, and this is the formula gender multiplied by RQ. And I'll click OK, and it is calculated. I'll go to transform again. One by one, I'll create the interactive term for all the three independent variables that I have. This time it would be WR, and same will happen with WR over here, and I'll click OK. And one last time, my third independent variable's in the interactive term, it was over here. I'll just scroll down so that I don't make any spelling mistake. Attitude towards evil. It was A E W. And this is my interactive term. Attitude towards evil. That's what I want here. A E W. OK. So I'm going to my data set again. In my data set, you can now see that I have those interactive terms with me. RQ into gender, WR into gender, and AEW into gender. Now I'll go to analyze, click on regression, linear regression, and my W, uh, my dependent variable over here is EWOM credibility that goes into the dependent variable. And my independent variables are three. That is review quality, website reputation, attitude towards evil. They go inside the independent variable and also the interactive terms, the new interactive terms that I have created. These three interactive terms are also my independent variables, plus the moderator that I wanted to assess. So this is my seventh independent variable. That's all I would do over here. I'll click on OK and my regression will be calculated. Now I'm going on to the analysis of regression. Uh, you can see over here the R square is 0.569. Sorry, it's 0.324 R square and it's kind of a moderate explanatory power that my model has. My ANOVA, it is significant. Look at the SIG value. It is 0.00, .00 which is quite below 0 0.05, the minimum value that we need. F is also greater than 4, quite above 4. So I'm really happy with my model. Let's move on towards the coefficient. Now, look at the review quality. I'm going to the column of SIG values over here, right over here. If you look at the 
extreme right SIG value column, the, it is insignificant. Then the website reputation, that is quite significant over here. If we keep 0 0.05, then attitude toward EWOM is also insignificant. Now, interaction of gender with RQ is insignificant. Uh, unluckily, none of my interactive terms in this case are significant. So what we can deduce from this calculation is that gender does not moderate any of the independent variables that we have in this data. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any future videos. Uh, bye for now.